Today let's see how we use variables and Java, JavaScript methods in our jQuery programming. This is the HTML we are using. Note we have included the jQuery library here and then our custom script that is the script we are going to write that is my underscore script. It's empty here. We'll be writing it shortly. So let's take an image here. Upon clicking this image, we shall show some random discount coupons or some message for that matter. So let's see what we could do. I'll add an image here. I am AG images slash image name. Seventy nine pixels width and seventy nine pixels height. So let's see it on our browser. Okay. Now let's write the jQuery in our my underscore script dot js. Once the HTML document is ready, that is once it is loaded, we call an anonymous function. Once the user clicks on the image, that is we need to select img tag. Once the user clicks on it, we call another anonymous function. Now let me take a variable. For more JavaScript tutorials, basics, please visit technotip.com and JavaScript category. So VAR is a keyword which indicates it's a variable. Discount is the name of the variable. Math.random is a JavaScript method. Again, we take another variable called msg. So whatever we write inside double quotes is treated as string plus is concatenation operator. If we want to concatenate something which is present inside a variable, we write it without double quotes. So whatever we write inside double quotes is interpreted as it is. But these variables will be changed to its actual value so let's just alert show it as alert box hope you have seen this alert method in javascript programming so we could use that same in our jquery too because jquery is uses javascript too okay each time we click on the image, it produces something random, that is a random number between 0 and 1. Since it produces some number between 0 and 1, we couldn't give discounts in 0 0.0001 like that. So let me multiply it by 5. Well, let's increase the discount and to round off these 
floating point numbers we use math dot float let us take out these things if we are inserting it inside a paragraph or inside html we could use html tags too but we are using alert so we need not use any html there so now there is a mistake with the packet now we get discount between one percent and five percent click on this image each time it produces some random number it even produces zero percent too the visitor is unlucky that's it we could control those numbers by the way okay let's see let's add plus 10 here which would give a discount between 1 and 15 i guess Fourteen percent. Okay, this is the variable declaration. This is the JavaScript methods. We have nested these methods. This is concatenation operator, and this is the alert method of JavaScript. Used all these used in our jQuery program. So. This is to let you know that all your JavaScript knowledge would still be valid while writing jQuery program. Please spread this video on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn and please like this on YouTube.